Hello, welcome to Design Fusion. My name is Nero Mistri, and today I will show you how we can create customized drawing template for an X. In this video, we will learn a workflow of drawing template. Second, how we can create border and zone for our drawing sheets. And the third, we will see how we can create our customized title block and finally we will see how we can make our part as a custom template before moving forward we will first understand uh, some basics of uh, workflow for drawing template so when you start an X and select a new file for drawing it will ask you for drawing template whether you want to select a existing drawing template or you want to create your own if you if you want to create your own you can make your own custom template here to do that you have to add a blank sheet then you have to choose a uh, drawing sheets and add border and zone as required you can customize your title block for your template and after you create a title block a zone border everything you done you can also specify uh, some attributes and template region you can also automate your title block so you can use that content as a reusable whenever you use this template in a future then you can assign this customized template as your new drawing template for the future then you have to make this template as a reusable so whenever you open uh, NX next time you will see your customized template in your selection option and this is the standard process for creating your custom or selecting your existing template so for creating a customized template you have to start with the blank sheet so you have to create a new and you will select a blank sheet so that will open your gateway and you can choose drafting mode from there so you have to specify a name for your template so i will specify df size b and template and i will specify the location you can see so it will open uh, an x gateway window with your uh, part name df b template file and you have to choose a drafting mode so you have to go in application tab and you can select the drafting so whenever you select your drafting it will open window for sheet selection so uh, i will select from here i want a uh, size b and sheet one and existing as it is and click ok so it will open a blank drawing sheet with just the outer line imaginary outer line for your drawing sheet the next step is you have to add a border and zoning for your drawing sheet so to do that you have to go in a drafting tool and you will see here a option for border and zone after you click on border and zone you will have a, a multiple option to choose border size a border location border margin and zone location zone margin and labeling so I will make a few changes to my border and zoning and and I will click apply so when I click apply based on my parameters it will it will create a border at a certain margin even if you want to update after so if you add the border and you you think that i have to uh, change some margin for left side top side or bottom side or right side you can do by clicking on border and zone and you can edit it here 
so if i want to change a uh, location for my left border from 0 0.2 each to 0 0.15 then i will click i will input a 0 0.15 and apply so it will update your border margin based on your new input after you create your border the second step you have to create your, your title block so to do that you have to add a tabular node and based on your requirement you can add row and column here so for now i create i created uh, seven column and six rows and i will place a tabular node and based on requirement i will design uh, my custom tabular node so here is uh, I designed out of that tabular node and I want to assign this tabular node as my uh, title block. To do that you can you have to go in drafting tools and there is an option a uh, define title block. So basically this command will convert your tabular data in a title block. So you have to select the tabular node. You can select multiple tabular nodes at the same time and if you have a more than one you will see a number of selected table here and by applying this it will convert your tabular node in a title block so whenever next time whenever you, you highlight or move cursor to your tabular node it will highlight as your title block and whenever you double click uh, on title block it will open a window for inputting detail for your title block so if you I want to add a detail in initial for drawn by you have to click on label number 8 or based on your selection you can import a detail here so I will put it on drawn by uh, my initial and for date I will put it Waste it, and this is how you can add uh, input for your title box. I can select the title box and move it to the proper place on lower right hand corner. So, next step will be assigning a part attributes, automize your title block or drawing set. So if I want to automize my drawing number as my part number, I have to double click here and go to drawing number and I have to edit the text. So there is a string particular for adding a part name. So here so it will automatically take a part name same thing with the size if you want to add a size automatically you can also automize size So it will automatically take the size from your selected selected seats even same thing with the revision so if I want to automate the revision I can also automate revision by adding a string for revision so for this it from next time whenever you import this template it will automize a drawing number revision and the size after saving this file in a same folder where the PEX file is you have to check first the uh, PEX file before updating because whenever you try to update a PEX file you require to see the permission so you have to go in a 
your C drive and you will have to see a folder and drafting template and you have to check the property because now it's read only so you cannot able to edit this file so you have to uncheck the read only and apply and click ok and double check before moving forward and after then you have to go in a drafting tool and assign this current part as a template so it will open an option whether you want to just create a template or you want to also update the PEX file so if you select uh, just the template only you don't have to fill out these details whenever you select to update the PEX file as well you have to fill out a description for presentation name and description for your PEX file and you have to find the location where you you have to update your packs so i will go to c drive and find a program file and siemens folder in siemens folder you will see nx 1926 and the drafting and in the drafting folder you will see the template folder inside the template folder you will see a pex file for ug drawing template and you have to select and click ok and after you select the location you can click ok to apply these updates for new template and you can save and close the file and close the annex after you reload annex you can go and uh, go ahead and check in a drafting template so if you go in a drawing you will see here a template that is draft df be a template and click ok so whenever you click ok you will see your customized uh, title block with a customized border and also you can see here uh, the drawing number is automatically update because our file part name is dwg1 so it will update uh, your drawing number automatically in title block if you change a uh, drawing sheet from here from b to c it will automatically change a uh, sheet size from size b to c and if you also change the revision it will automatically change the revision in a title blocks this is how we can create our customized drafting template thank you for watching this video for more video please subscribe our youtube channel or visit our website www.designfusion.com thank you